This is a new machine demonstration of a TC1200 LK machinery. I'm gonna go ahead and walk around the machine a little bit. Back of the machine. Got a Mitsubishi control. And now I'm going to introduce you to Dean. He does the setup installation and training for these machines. Hello, Dean. Hello. Tell us what you're going to do today. Today I'm going to uh, illustrate how the machine can run in twin. Uh, table configuration. The machine is now configured to where you have workplace one, workplace two, you have a divider, and separate doors. So you can open one, change parts, close the door, initiate the control. When the machine moves to the second side, you can open the door and change parts and go back. In theory, if done correctly, the machine never stops operation. So the spindle is always made for chips. Right now, I'll open the door so you can see what's going on inside. And we will start the cycle. Illustrate is a rigid tap cycle. We will now move to a clearance zone and change tools. That is for the safety of the workpiece. We're going to illustrate circular interpolation clockwise and counterclockwise. Speeds and speeds have been turned down because the machine is not on a stable platform. Once it is in customer location and fully leveled, then rapids and speed rate will be at maximum, and this machine is very fast. Now we're just illustrating linear movement, diagonal, straight lines, along X, Y axis. With this button active, green light on, when it reads M62, it will automatically move to the second side. Here we're doing a tool change. Then we're going to show extensive movement along X and Y axis. Now we're going to illustrate helical interpolation, uh, like for thread milling. Just all three axes are moving simultaneously. And 
machine will cut both standard and metric threads with no problem. Now we're going to go into a deep drill, hole drilling cycle of G83. Again, the machine is running much slower than it would ordinarily because of the unstable footing. Now the machine is waiting for the operator. The operator will push the button, ABC clockwise and it will automatically move to the other side and resume operation. You can set up two different parts, or you can set up one part with a successive cycle and have a finished part coming out every time the machine completes a full cycle. Again, we're in rigid jacket mode. Speed and speed on rigid tapping is limited by the tap that you are using. Circular interpolation tolerances are normally within two tenths on diameter. advantage of a stationary table is you have no movement of hydraulic lines, air lines, fixed screen devices, anything that would normally chafe will not. And so Dean, you had explained again, you have to push that button, it's a safety feature, right? It is a safety feature. It prevents the operator from being harmed because the machine comes to the side he is working on before he is ready. and all door interlocks will be fully operational before machine is placed at customer location. And if they were going to use the entire table that, like you said, that middle section completely comes out, correct? Correct. The bar comes out and the divider comes out. So we're just recycling through that yes. program, correct? Yes. So we can stop the program, reset, and I will illustrate how quickly you can change it from two table to single table. Press monitor, right arrow, PLC switch, setting valid, setup parameter, yes, the highlight, cursor down, it is now on. We will turn it off. The alarm tells us it is now a single table. And once you remove the divider, the alarm will go away. If you want to turn it back on, setting valid again. Yes. Cursor right back down to two table. Turn it on. Close. And 
arrow back to your original format, press the button, waiting on the door, and it goes right back to the operation. Very simple. Perfect. I'm going to stand back and try to get a overall view here. This concludes the new machine demonstration of the TC-1200 LK machine.